Were you in a skills competition at the Leafs game when you were younger in 2002? Uh, yes. Did you go f perfect on the accuracy, 4 for 4? Yeah. So you Leafs were the best skills. player in Ontario, basically? Did no. You know? No? No. It sounds like you were. If you're competing in the Olympics, what event are you doing? And if it's a team event, which of your teammates are you competing with? Can't be Winter Olympics, has to be Summer. Summer Olympics. So you can be team, but you have to pick a teammate, like it could be Relay, in um, which case, obviously, you'd pick me and a couple other guys. But. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe long, maybe long distance? Long distance, long distance running? Yeah. Is there a long distance yeah, Relay? Yeah, 100%. Speed walking? Speed walking, that'd be you, you'd be to, good uh, at that. Yeah. Shot put. Yeah, maybe javelin. Yeah, that'd be, <laughs> that'd be good. <laughs> that'd be really good. Um, were you in a skills competition at the Leafs game when you were younger in 2002? Uh, yes. Did you go f perfect on the accuracy, four for four? Yeah. That's a, I did not know that about <laughs> you. That's the question. But other than that, what is a, a, a good experience you had during that skills challenge? How do you get into that? Did you, the, like, is it a draw? So like my minor hockey team would do like a skills competition and then the top couple kids would go to Toronto. So you were the best player on your team? Well, there's three of us I think that went. Yeah. And then uh, you did another skills competition in Toronto with like kids from around the province. And then yes, uh, certain kids got to go in the So you were the skills. best player in Ontario basically? No. No? No. Sounds like you were. Um, <laughs> growing up on a farm, what was your least favorite chore, or did you have a favorite? Uh, least favorite, probably hoeing. What did Toma you have to hoe, just like the field? Corn, beans. That or tomato, uh, tomatoes wasn't very good either. Like picking tomatoes? Yeah, you ride on the harvester, and the belt goes really? the opposite way, and you pick out like the bad ones. Or, That's pretty cool. Yeah. That sounds like fun. I mean, easy for uh, me to say I didn't do it. <laughs> um, other than your parents, who had a big influence on your life growing up? And outside of Geo as well. You can't <laughs> say Geo or me. Um, I was always an Eisenman fan, um, being close to Detroit, and they had a good team winning cups and stuff. Um, I just liked the way he played and yeah. how he carried himself. Yeah, Stevie Y was pretty good. Uh, and then my last question for you, uh, which I'm curious about, is where did you learn to skate? And how old were you? Started skating when I was four, um, and then I just had power skating coaches and stuff. Back you just in, started like playing hockey. Back in childhood. I think that's yeah. what like I did it too. I think I started skating with like my dad. And yeah. yeah. And then we, we always had an outdoor rink. You did? Yeah. On the farm? Yeah. That sounds like a good time. Yeah. <laughs> You want me to break? Yeah, you break. So what do you play off the break? If I if I make one, do I pick, or am I that color that I make? Pick it. You're not going to, so it shouldn't matter. <laughs> All right, this will be over quick. <laughs> All right, you were right. What? <laughs> nice shot. Stripes? Stripes. That would have been a classy shot. <laughs> Oh, oh no. No. <laughs> this is gonna be bad. Oh no. <laughs> I believe you. This could be the game right here. Good game. Good game. Pleasure. Thanks for making my ball for me. Yep, no problem. Yeah.